Hey guys, how's it going? Raw food in the sink here. Um, welcome to this cooking video. Uh, today we're just gonna cook some shrimp and vermicelli. Vermicelli? Vermicelli. Ver 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 vermicelli. All right, so we'll get right into this. Um, today this is just a dish that I somewhat simple and that I actually like to make and cook myself. Um, it actually has three ingredients. Okay, we've got shrimp in the sink here, and we've got the vermicelli. And then I should either get, if you don't have dried scallops, which is kind of like, obviously not everybody has dried scallops, uh, cilantro works too, I mean, but the dried scallops just make it so much better. <laughs> so if you don't have any, go pick some up. Uh, you know, they don't have to be really expensive, Let's just get like the cheapy small ones. So uh, let's just jump into this in prep time. Ugh. Okay, so before I get started, I'm gonna just basically uh, heat up some water over here, and then um, what we what we what we're gonna do is uh, first off, I'm gonna be boiling the uh, the vermicelli just to get the starches and whatever out of it or whatever. Uh, just loosen up the noodles because obviously I'm not gonna steam it in that sense. And then the dried scallops, I'm gonna boil it in here as well afterwards while I'm still probably cleaning the shrimp because I'm slow as hell. <laughs> and then uh, after that. Um, Otherwise, I would have actually soaked the dried scallops overnight in just like a cup of warm water. So then it would actually bleed out all the flavors and it loosen up so it wouldn't be like rock hard because these things are like rocks right now. Like I've got, I've got four little ones here and they pretty much are like rocks. Okay, these, these things are almost like stones, but <laughs> um, yeah, these need to be pulled out. It smells really good, but uh, four is enough. This is probably even like maybe even overkill, but I don't really know. So I'll put that there. Um, those will be boiled down later, and then the vermicelli will be boiled first. Obviously not gonna use the same water, because if you boil the vermicelli, then you probably wanna pour out that water that you boiled it in, and then afterwards, a uh, fresh new pot of like cold water or whatever. Just a small amount, enough to at least like submerge these and to sort of make like a broth or a sauce, kind of, that you're gonna pour into the shrimps later on. Okay, so we're just gonna clean these, and then we they have their shells on and everything. Uh, most of the time there's like a vein at the top of the shrimp here that's kind of disgusting and uh, I guess that's like where the shrimp's poo comes out of. It comes out of their top end of their head, I guess, into their tail or whatever. Not really sure the, the biology of a shrimp, but anyways. Um, generally, uh, sometimes I do keep the shell on, but for the steaming of this case, I'm not going to. So I'm just going to clean out all of them and peel all their shells before even cooking them. If I was pan frying them, I would leave the shells on. Um, other than that, I don't really know if I actually should keep the shells on or not because I'm a complete noob in cooking. So, uh, you know, feel free to add your, your two thoughts in down below. <laughs> I'm just going to clean this. Um, first off, I generally actually just open the top here. Another vein down here too. I don't really know what this is, but I mean, sometimes it's like blue colored. It's not like shit colored like the one at the top. So I'm not, I'm not too certain here. So, um, so Generally, if you just snip through the top here, there's like a dirty vein up here, and then like the legs or whatever, they'll just unfold when I when I pierce them. I don't really, uh, what the hell is this black thing here? Holy god damn, what the, yeah, oh, that's disgusting. All right, so we'll just do this again. Uh, we'll snip right through, so I put the scissors in here, and then just a straight dissection down the middle. It's not too bad. It's just a straight cut down the middle. Um, obviously I don't have much experience cooking these kinds of things. I just more or less look at whatever shortcuts I can take without screwing over the whole thing. Um, so then it, you, can, you just kind of unfold like the shell like this and you can pretty much have yourself like an intact shell at the end of it. So, uh, I don't know, maybe you want to sell that to like your girlfriend or your neighbor or something. Who knows? Creep them out. <laughs> It'll look, a shrimp shell. Okay, and then like once you get to the tail, just you know unfold it a little bit more here if you want, and then you just grab the tail ends and I just pull, and generally it just comes out just like that. No one ever really taught me this. I just kind of, I kind of just, I kind of just watch cooking shows every now and then when my with with like family back then, and uh, I was, even then I still didn't really like learn anything. I just kind of looked at it and I was like, huh, okay. <laughs> just looked at it and I was like, huh, okay. All right, so we just uh, do all these. Oh, water's boiling. Two stacks of vermicelli. Okay, one for me, one for mom. <laughs> and then we snip. We snip all of these. So I'm gonna gonna do all of these. 
it's not too much work. It's actually pretty quick. Uh, just need some practice. The first few times it'll obviously take like probably forever. This is this is about like my third or fourth time doing this kind of dish. I didn't really cook it that often because it's shrimp and it's and the scallops are kind of pricey. If I had it every day, it's uh, that's like wow. Okay, that's another one. And then uh, just pull this disgusting vein out. Oh, seriously, like a long booger. I want the meal to be like pure flesh. I don't want them to. I don't want the person eating this to feel any kind of like shell or whatever bitten into, and it's like a hard end, and they still have to do some work to eat it. Like I just want the, I just want the eating experience to be flawless, <laughs> which is why I pull it on the tails off too. So I don't know the reasons for keeping the tail on. Like even when I eat in restaurants, they have the tails in, and I don't understand that. That water is boiling very loudly. They're, they're like congealing. These things absorb so much water. All right, so it was boiling. Like I had a, like a pot of water and look at this. It's like ate up all the water, these things. So like this stuff will soak. <laughs> will soak up whatever it is you put it in. I'm just pour this out. Whatever liquid that's left. Cool it down. Just some cold water just to cool it down so it doesn't it doesn't actually like melt into just like bluish. Because the bean thread is, it's not like, it's like a very solid noodle, but if you boil it long enough, it will become like a starchy glue almost. <laughs> so these, these are like, that's why the noodles look kind of like transparent. Like the noodles are kind of like transparent-ish. Uh, wait, why is it out of focus? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's why they look kind of like glass. They're like kind of transparent-ish. So these are, this, this stuff is really filling. It's almost like, it's like potato or, or bean based. It's based off of beans. So. Essentially eating beans. It's like protein noodles. <laughs> um, what I do now is actually just spray this with some uh, sesame oil. So sesame, sesame oil, if I have any. Oh. If you don't have sesame oil, it's fine. Just even cooking oil is fine. This just makes it smell better and it doesn't stick, so, uh, you know, some drops of that in here. That's, that'll be quite overpowering, but that's fine. The noodles need to stay separate, so. <sighs> that's actually probably a little too much that I put in there, but that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> and then, uh, so I'm just stir that a little bit just to make sure it's coated in most of it so it doesn't stick because if it cools down and then it also dry as well like eats all the moisture and the water that's in there and you don't put anything it just becomes like a clump so you can't even like separate it later which is why I put this sesame oil in I've only learned this by doing this <laughs> if I never did the first time I did it it was just like you pick this up it's like a whole clump it was just stuck together like and it takes the shape of the bowl <laughs> So I was like, oh shit, and I was like, hmm, what should I do? I'm like, butter or like oil or something? And I was like, alright, some sesame oil. Worked out pretty well. Alright, so we leave that to the side there. And I gotta boil another pot of water for the dried scallops now. Just a quick rinse on the shrimp here. Just make sure it's actually all fully cleaned out and done. That's, that's good, that's good. All right, so we've got a plate of clean shrimp, all fleshed out, no shells, none whatsoever. All right, and then we've got a bunch of, uh, got a bunch of shells right here. So <laughs> this is just uh, to be recycled uh, into whatever the they say recycle to. Okay, so, okay, so we've got the shrimp ready here and then we've got the bowl of uh, vermicelli noodles. The shrimp are gonna lie on top of that in a plate and it's gonna go in here, we're gonna steam it here, and then we're also gonna drop like a, a little uh, square of butter on top of it, and I think my mom wanted me to use uh, chicken broth, so this is just a can of chicken broth. Uh, probably don't wanna use the whole can here because that's a lot of salt, so 
Uh, yeah, and then the scallops are now boiling, so let that boil for a bit before I actually start steaming it, because those need to loosen up first. And part of that's going to go in as well with the chicken broth, so that's a lot of liquid already, so that's why we're not going to use the whole thing here, which you shouldn't anyways, because there's not enough shrimp for that. <laughs> Okay, so these things are optional here because uh, I use generally about uh, almost three quarters of a clove of garlic here to match like the butter almost. And I don't even know if that's going to be enough. I think it might not be enough, but whatever. Um, this actually adds a lot to the shrimp and the, the vermicelli noodles and then um, some cilantro here that I'm also going to top it off at the end. So we're just going to like quickly work on this here. Alright, so add some salt to this. Get a spoon or something. And just mash this in. Just mash it in. It'll start getting really liquidy because the salt is drawing everything out of there. And just mash it as well as mash the salt straight in there. And turn it to almost like a, a bit of a, almost like a kind of garlic paste, sort of. Sort of, not really. I might not even need to use the chicken broth after all this, plus the dried scallops are still boiling. So that could be a, be a lot actually, so don't need that much salt. I don't want to say goodbye to my kidneys so early in life. That's pretty good for now, so we'll leave that. Intro, okay, just give this a quick rinse. They're, these look pretty clean, so. So we just gotta chop the ends off here. This is the dirty part here. So just a uh, quick rinse off that, just on the ends. Boom, and that's good. And we can go back in the fridge later. So uh, let's see, one half here, and then just to this. And then just, uh, just need to fan all these out. Wait, is this cilantro or is this parsley? Oh no, it's cilantro, okay. <laughs> you don't want to use parsley, it's too, it's too strong, it's too hard. Parsley is for something else, this not, not. For a moment there I was like, this seems harder than usual. I was like, is this parsley? I'm like, no, it's not, it's, it's, it's cilantro, I'm good. Okay, that's done. Just another little cup. Bowls and stuff. All right, that's good. Lower this a bit more. These dried scallops are still here. There's almost like no liquid left in them now. So, oh, just boiled it down all the way almost. Probably gotta add some more water to it. I don't want it to fully dry out. It'd <laughs> be terrible. Hopefully those aren't really chewy. Oh, Should have soaked them overnight. It would be much better. Uh, I need a giant plate with this one here. All right, so I guess I will be using the chicken broth after all, so we're gonna crack this open. Um, make sure the lid is clean. chicken broth before this starts getting hot. Uh, I don't know how much honestly. I just kind of eye it. Uh, that should be good enough. So 
like really not that much actually. Packed up a bit more. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, so then that goes here. Oh, this will be used for other stuff on another day. Then uh, we we make a little bed here with noodles with the vermicelli. See, look, even I put oil in it, and it's still kind of like a block. <laughs> this is why I put some oil at all. Like, if I didn't put any, it would literally be a full block and just be weird. So we just get make sure we don't lose any. Get all of it in there. All of it in there. I may have boiled these slightly too long, but that's okay. So this will absorb most of that chicken broth. If there's not enough, I'll just pour, my, pour more in anyways. So we just want to make sure this is like a nice little bed for the shrimp. Okay, it's almost like a, it's almost like a, it's almost like a, like a work of art here. <laughs> all right, so. All right, so. All right, and then we just uh, place our shrimps in here. And just. Just, we'll just place them nicely in here, so it's one, and I don't know how many I have, so here's, here's two, here's three, here's four, here's five, here's six, wow that's a fat one. Turn off the scallops, just pour them straight in. Just all over the darn place. Just break them up a little bit if you can. I think these might still be too hard, darn. Yeah, definitely should have soaked those overnight, so that was a bit of a mistake there. It's okay, but I believe it will still be good. It's based on the firmness of like what I touched it with. It doesn't seem too bad. It might. I'm hoping it won't be too, too, uh, I'm hoping it won't be too, uh, what the hell's the word for it? I hope it won't be too hard. I, I don't think it'll be too hard, but we'll know sooner or later. Alright, there's that. A little bit of butter. I kind of want to just put the whole block in, so... Uh, I'm just gonna put the whole block in. <laughs> At first I thought I was gonna put in half of it, but I was just like... Mmm, this seems too much. I, oh god. Alright. Just a little bit of butter here. Oh shh. There. You gotta just, just a little bit of butter. It's already sesame oil and stuff in there, so... That could be uh, really, could be really thick. I don't know. Maybe I'll regret it later. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put the whole thing in. Mom always says I don't eat enough anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Mom always says I don't eat enough, so I'm gonna put the whole thing in. She can't say it. <laughs> then she can't say it. I'm like, oh, you eat so little. <laughs> All right, so that's in there. Also got to put the garlic in as well now. This is unsalted butter by the way, so there's no salt in that butter. And the garlic just spread it around on top of the shrimps. I should have did this earlier because the steam is now getting in my face. And it's getting really hot in here. It's hot action, okay? The only other time it ever gets this steamy is in uh, probably your own bedroom, I guess. Not, not mine. Mine my bedroom's ice cold. <laughs> oh shit, that hurts. I don't want a steam burn. That, that's, a steam burn really, really hurts. Never ever steam burn yourself. It's like concentrated energy going into your skin. Never ever steam burn yourself because it really, really, really hurts. If you steam burn yourself, put it under cold water immediately. Do not even wait. Okay, that's good. Uh. Alright, we'll see you in a few minutes. How you know if this is done is when the shrimp turns orange.
Oh, it smells like heaven. It's great. So uh, you can see the shrimp is already like changing like color. It's uh, it's, it's kind of like pinkish. So we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So it don't take too much. You might want to like slow cook it so I don't actually overcook the shrimp. <laughs> Do not overcook the shrimp. It's not as delightful when it's overcooked. All right. So a few more minutes have passed since that last lift. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the shrimp is pretty much done. They don't take very long to cook. So. Uh, I mean, they are like tiny little things, so um, I believe that's it. I'm gonna turn off the heat here, and then we're gonna lift, and then uh, quickly drop all this cilantro on top here, and then we gotta cover it again with that heat so we don't lose all of this. All right, so that's that's good enough there. And the cilantro is gonna hide the scallop surprise, okay? And then uh, then we then we cover it again. People always ask, bro, do you even lift? Yes, I lift lids. <laughs> and voila, boys, the breakfast of the gods. Or bre dinner, dinner, dinner of the gods. <laughs> Not breakfast, what am I, crazy? So that's what it looks like. Um, oh God, why is it out of focus? Oh, there we go. Oh yes, look at that steam, ooh. Mmm, yummy. Smells absolutely delicious. I'm sorry I can't invite you over to have this, but at least I showed you how to make it. So uh, enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now. Peace.